Is that a roach? Sometimes, bro, people push it on camera, and I don't think they be thinking. The fact that he sleep and she over there like that, because it look like it's nighttime, that's telling me all I need to know. He already bust them cheeks and <laughs> he caught the itis. So you trying to embarrass him because you see roaches in his house and he's sleeping on the floor? What happened before the camera came on? I'm just saying. What's the most attractive thing I can do? Um, not be black. So what? That, that's not your type? Yeah. Really? What's your take? Not black people. Wait, what? I'm not mad at her, because we all could have a type, but what you trying to say, like, we can't be attractive? This sound like a KKK member. Housekeeping. Hey yo. I know you Wait a minute. You had a nerve to be at a hotel room and the car that I bought you. Why are you recording? Don't worry about that. You worry about the wrong thing. That hotel room is trash. That's the first thing I'm going to say is that hotel room is trash. But I would say that wifey is, uh, wifey is, uh, it's giving. <laughs> it's giving. You had a hotel in a car that I bought you? A car that's in my name? You got to be crazy to think ain't no air tag on it. Then you park right in front of the door? How slow are you? Well, it's gotta be fake. What you mean who is? Who are you? Sweetie, who are you? What you doing here? What's up? This is my co-worker. This is a co-worker. What y'all doing here? What you mean your co-worker? I'm not your damn co-worker. Who is this? So you lying? Why are you cheating on my sister? Oh. Oh. Now you worry about the She bought reinforcements. You don't need to be asking me what you're doing here with her. I, you, this is my co-worker. She's like, I'm not your co-worker. You ain't my co-worker. Who is this? She wanted it. She I, I'm his wife. Oh. I'm his wife. You, you didn't know that? You didn't know he was married? He didn't tell you that? We just got married. It don't matter. What that We're mean? We're married. We're married. What you mean? It's a, it's a rose in the bed. <laughs> So what you doing here? With your co-worker? What you were doing here with your co-worker? We were talking about the schedule. Cause I'm on, I'm... This man said we were talking about the schedule. No, that gotta be fake, bro. This gotta be fake. There is no, there is no way. I know that. There is no way. He said we were talking about the schedule. You were talking about a schedule in a room with a rose in a bed? With a female laying in the bed? You were saying you were married. I don't do married hands. Don't move it, man. Bro, I was, I was went to the store getting some roses. And I just grabbed the wrong one. I ain't know that one. Nah. Like, if I break the store? Nah, that's fake. No. <laughs> she said, the... what? That gotta, that gotta be like one of them skits. There's no way in hell that that was his excuse. We was checking the schedule. Then my man said, I went to the store to pick up roses and I picked up the wrong one. <laughs> Don't even sell some type of roses in, in the stores that you would get a rose in. Do they? Please tell me if I'm wrong, but I've consulted three whole people on this, and they all told me that I was right for leaving. And you're talking to the right people. Us on Facebook, we do this. <laughs> I was supposed to go on a Starbucks date. This is what I was getting. I don't drink coffee. Anyway, we met on the apps, and I'm back on the apps, unfortunately. And this guy 
adorable, very attractive. Um, he says he likes to do instant dates. So since it's Bumble, I have to message him first. So I was like, what is an instant date? And he goes, let's meet tomorrow. This was Tuesday. I was working, so we were, we were going to meet today. I get there like 10 minutes early. I'm chilling in my car. And I see what I think is him pull up like across from me. And he doesn't move. So I go to the Bumble and he messaged me and he's like, are you here? And I was like, yeah, I'm chilling in my car. And I wave through my windshield at him. He's looking at me and I wave and he doesn't wave back. He gets out of his car, starts walking towards the Starbucks, like past my car. He has to pass my car to get to the door. And so I'm getting out of my car because he didn't stop at my car or anything. And so I'm getting out to go say like hello or and stuff. And he like closed the door in my face. Now, I don't know about y'all, but like for some women or even just people, if the man just lets the door slam into your face and y'all about to be on like a date and he literally sees you like at that point, most of y'all would have just turned the around and went over. back to y'all car and said, fuck the date. Yeah, the date is over. <laughs> so then he's already sitting down. He's sitting down like when I get inside Starbucks. Right. And like I wave there also like while he's sitting down and he just kind of looks at me funny. And then I'm like, well, maybe this is the wrong person, right? So I go to line, go to the line, and I'm ordering my drink. <laughs> and while I'm on my while I'm ordering my drink, I'm on Bumble, like trying to see if this is the right person. So I'm looking at him, and I look at him, and it's fucking it's him. It's him. So <laughs> he doesn't come up over to me at all in the line either. And then I'm waiting for my drink. He doesn't come over there while I'm waiting for my drink. And at that point, I've been in the Starbucks because they were busy for like 10 minutes and with nothing, silence. Like, I've tried to talk to you twice. You shut a door in my face and then you didn't speak to me. You're already sitting down like you didn't come up to me or anything. So I get my drink and I walk past him. I walk past him. I go to my car. I get in my car. I go to talk. I go to Bumble so I could be like, that was fucking rude. Like, you wasted my time. And... He was like, well, you have a good day, too. What? I don't think I'm wrong for leaving. Let me know. Because I feel like my, I have, like, crazy high standards. But, like, that was, like, the bare minimum. And you failed. Right? Okay, so you said you tried to talk to him twice. I'm assuming it's because you waved at him through your window. It's possible he didn't see he didn't you, see I guess. You. And then um, you walked up to the door and tried to talk to him. But he closed the door in front of your face. That's a little iffy. Which... When you tell me that, it's like as if he didn't see you at the door either. My thing is, right, did y'all discuss what type of car you was in already? Did he know that that was you in the car? Um, secondly, why didn't y'all just meet in the parking lot? Like, was it discuss? hey, meet me in front of the door? Yeah, meet me in front of the door. I'll wait for you or something like that. That whole situation just sounded like both of y'all was being petty. It sounded like both of y'all was being petty. But also, because we're going to keep it honest now, because catfishing is a real thing. I, I would like to see what she looked like all over. You know what I'm saying? She got some broad shoulders, but that just might mean that broad shoulders come with broad cheeks. You feel me? Or it might be I might be getting catfish also. So I want to see what she looked like because it might be a situation where, where my boy felt as though he was being catfished. You know? Your bumble profile wasn't um, how you was buzzing in real life. You feel, you see what I did there? Y'all see what I did there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That might, that might have been what's going on. That whole situation just sounds stupid. Everybody want to be a part of something. Instant date. What is the worst thing an ex has done to you? Nothing, honestly. My ex has actually been really good to me. What's the worst thing you did to an ex? I cheated. Sensational. Because he accused me of cheating, so I decided I was actually going to go do it. Who did you cheat with? A lot of people. How many people? Never cheated. Maybe four or five. Jesus Christ. He never found out. He I was, I was slick out. with it. I was slick. You were slick with it. Yeah, I got away with that shit. If Jesus can't save these, <laughs> why are you trying? <laughs> hey, from since I was young, there's one thing I always knew. If you accuse somebody of doing something, or especially like if you're in a relationship, and you try to reprimand your girl, like put her in solitary confinement, you are 
pushing her into the streets. You feel what I'm saying? Speed limits are meant to be broken. So if you in in a relationship putting rules and limits on things that your girl can't do, she going she going to do it. And they young. She looked like she was young too. So they you know what I'm saying? Especially if you young. She going to do it. Is that a Is that a lip? That look like a lip. Oh, nah. Nah. Nah, son. That was a lip. That was a... It's a lot of y'all running around here like to kiss people. They like to kiss people on the first date, randomly tonguing folks down. Man, I was finna eat breakfast. That might have messed up my whole breakfast. <laughs> 